Hi everyone, it's about that time. There's a UK Games Expo happening this weekend and just in time, hopefully, uh, I'm doing a little video to tell you about some things that I'll be on the lookout for, or maybe you should be on the lookout for. There's only a few days. I'm only there for a couple of them, and there's a lot to get done. There's a bring and buy to try and have a look at. Didn't really get much of a chance last year. There's food to eat, but mainly there's games to play. By food, I mean there's five guys. But I'm just going to go through a load of games. Most of these I've just kind of seen a little blurb on either the preview sheet or just spotted their name scrolling down the list. The list of games on the UK Games Expo's website is not the best, but you can uh, go and search up where all of the exhibits are. I'll tell you where they are, but I'll, I'll try and be brief with each one because there's, there's a fair bit I want to talk about. And I'm sure a fair bit that I'll forget as well. Hopefully there will be useful comments from people with similar tastes to me that uh, will tell you some things I've forgotten about or haven't seen yet, quite possible. And maybe even people with different tastes that uh, would disagree and would want to tell you about some other games as well. So let's get going just in alphabetical order from the exhibitor's name. So we start out with Alito Games, who are at booth 2-719, so it will be Hall 2, booth 719. You can see there's a map on the UK Games Expo's website that will tell you where the various numbers are located. And there's also, uh, if you go to the Offline Gamer, uh, they have made an amazing annotated map so you can see the same map with the people's names actually written on it. But they're showing off Paperback Adventures, which is a wonderful word game deck builder that turns it into a kind of roguelike game, a kind of Slay the Spire-esque game. You can see my full playthrough of one of the sessions of it. But uh, yeah, I would check that out if you haven't already. Alley Cat Games are in Hall 1, booth 714, and they're going to have all sorts from their catalogue. But new releases roam in a day, of which you can see my rules video for. Hey plug uh, and uh, they are also launching a party kind of game phantom inc where mediums are competing to figure out a secret object i've got a copy of that unfortunately in like the the weeks that i've had it as much as we'd planned never got to a four player session to actually try it out you'll probably get there before me and you can let me know uh, how it goes and there's also castronauts which is a cat based sequel to kitten which we showed off a while ago on the channel. Atkin Games at Hall 1, booth 1058, have a game called Malum Hortus, a fantasy horror game for one to four players, where we're going to be playing as nymphs being hunted by evil flowers. Save critters, balance your resources, and work together to escape Malum Hortus. That's the only information I have, but that sounds cool. I'm keen on that. Bedsit Games are in Hall 1, booth 1160, and they have a game called Pauper's Ladder. It's not a brand new one, but it's kind of new to me, kind of tying in with uh, the explosion in kind of dice-based, exploration-y, story -y kind of games uh, that uh, I've been playing a lot uh, recently. Pauper's Ladder is a uh, kind of class struggle. It's got a lovely art style, you know, get a character, find gear, find companions, build yourself up, try and complete these quests, do the best in it. There's also an expansion which makes it solo, which I'm intrigued by as well. I think there's another expansion on the way, but it's not going to quite be ready yet. I really want to check that out. I've been very tempted to grab that and only the kind of fact that I'm facing that I wouldn't have, if I'd bought it a month ago when I first saw it, I would not have had time to play it. So probably a good decision to just wait for the expo. Board and Dice are in Hall 2, booth 202, and they are going to have Books of Time, a brand new release, where we are doing some tableau building. We're gathering cards to uh, try and score the most points, but a little twist on it. We're making these great books and the game actually comes with these kind of miniature ring binders and the cards have holes punched in them so you will actually form these books out of it it looks pretty cool and i'm sure they'll have other games from their pretty extensive catalog by this point as well uh, button shy i think might be the first time that they're here right the first time i'm realizing it anyway are in hall two booth one two three and they are renowned for their wallet sized games their micro games you know this they're, they're limited to like, they're not, like nine cards games uh, i've played some great ones like tussie mussy and sprawlopolis um the tons that work well solo are the ones I've played have been like different reprints, but I really like the style of their little uh, wallets. It reminds me of the Beano fan club thing you used to get with the Dennis and Nasher badges in it. Uh, but they're going to be there selling their wares. Karuka are going to be in Hall 2, booth 358, and Karuka is just fantastic. It's a dexterity game. It's basically flicking snooker. So what if you haven't got room for a snooker table in your house, but 
you'd still quite like to play it. Uh, it's a cross between snooker and uh, carrom. So it is this circular wooden board that we have discs rather than balls representing all of the various snooker colours and there are pockets all around the circle and so you don't you can just stay in your seat wherever the cue ball ends up you can swing the table around it's kind of lazy susan on a load of uh, ball bearings it's beautifully made they're all handcrafted in leak vaguely local uh, and uh, yeah I, I bought a table last year i shame to say how long it's kind of gone unfilmed i kind of hoped that i would play it enough and get good at karuka and then show you kind of show off in a video I've not become good at Karuka, but I find it very fun. And I have filmed a playthrough that I'm hoping to get up before the expo. But either way, whether that video materializes or not, it's been filmed. Uh, they're going to be there and you can try it out for yourself. They're going to be tables. You can play Karuka. It uh, works so beautifully. I'm a big fan. And yeah, it's going to be there. Cephal Affair are going to be in Hall 2, booth 1014. And I mean, it's Cephal Affair, the Gloomhaven, Frosthaven, Giants, Behemoths. Uh, they are going to be showing off those games presumably and also i think maybe there might be kind of teasers and things uh, about the gloomhaven rpg that's on the way and maybe something uh, to tease the new miniature campaign that's going to be there so many minis look beautiful check games edition are going to be in hall 2 booth 420 and they are going to have a new expansion for lost ruins of onak the missing expedition which adds a solo or two-player campaign to the game I'd be pretty keen on trying that. I've only played the base game of Lost Ruins of Arnak, so there's, there's two expansions now that uh, I'm missing out on. I'll have to give that a go. And they're also teasing uh, their brand new release for this year, Kutna Hora, uh, the City of Silver, a city building Euro game for two to four players. Smelt precious silver, develop a medieval city, build a beautiful Gothic cathedral. Always worth checking out when CG have got a new game out. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be available to demo at the expo. Descent Games in Hall 1, booth 239, have Library Labyrinth, a cooperative game in a cursed library. It says uh, a family game for one to five players. Inspirational women defeat literary terrors in a cursed library. Can Mary Seacole and Red Riding Hood capture Dracula? I'm very intrigued to see if they can. Dranda Games are in Hall 1 at T90. They get a T in their booth number. And they are going to be showing off Solar Sphere and Isle of Trains all aboard. Which, yeah, caveat, I have done, or I'm going to be doing, uh, commissioned rules videos for both of those games. But you can see kind of gameplay in action of them also on the channel if you would like to just check out how they play. Funko Games are going to be in Hall 2, booth 602, and they're going to be showing off quite a few new things. But the the few I was most interested in... So there's, there's new Indiana Jones things. There is an Indiana Jones escape room kind of game, which I'm still very tempted to get. Video-wise, I don't think I've ever made great videos about escape room games because you can't really say much about them other than whether you kind of enjoy them or not, which I suppose you say about most games, but you can't really say much about how the puzzles worked or anything. I'm so scared of spoilers that I don't think I end up making good videos about them. If you would like one, maybe I'll do one. But there is also Indiana Jones Sands of Adventure, which is a cooperative game designed by Bob Ross Art of Chill. Designers Prospero Hall, uh, amazing design collective and uh, this is basically Raiders of the Lost Ark stuff. It is a speedy cooperative quick card playing game where we are trying to rescue the Ark of the Covenant before it falls into the wrong hands. Very very excited especially we watched, especially after all the fortune and glory playing and we watched Raiders of the Lost Ark fairly recently. It's great and they're also going to have a game called Disney Animated. We as the players are the Walt Disney Animation Studios. We need to produce these Disney films before the deadline, but the villains of the stories are getting in the way and want to stop us. So basically there's going to be a villain chosen that's going to get in the way of our plans. We have boards that represent the films that we are trying to make, and there are these kind of see-through, you know, like, I don't know, like Mystic Veil kind of things, kind of cards that go on top that will, like the animation cells, basically, that we are kind of building up the actual scenes of the films. It seems really, really cool. Very excited to play both of those. Hopefully they are going to be on the way as well. And playthroughs will be forthcoming, I think. But yeah, definitely would head over to Funko and check them out. Hatchet Games are going to be in Hall 2, booth 538, and they're going to have many, many new things to try out. But the one that jumped out at me is After Us, which is kind of... Planet of the Apes, Inc. from the Apes perspective. 
Humanity's gone. We are a tribe of apes and you want to be the best one, basically, at rebuilding up the world. It's a deck building and resource management game featuring an original and intuitive combo system in which players are each leading a tribe of apes. Sounds pretty cool to me. Hall or Nothing are going to be in Hall 1 and uh, they are at booth 1016 and among many other things like Tears to Many Mothers. But the thing that springs to mind first is the Kill Forth series and Gloom of Kill Forth, Shadows of Kill Forth and the new one that I think is going to be available to demo, not released quite yet, uh, Call of Kill Forth, which kind of takes it into seafaring piratey territory it seems like a really cool theme i'll admit that yeah I, I think you can find older videos where i was really really hyped about uh, the kill Ford series and i don't think that like I, don't, I think i gave it a chance but i don't think that i was in the right kind of frame of mind for it at the time i've recently been watching a load of ricky royal about it and uh, i've got shadows of Killforth right here it's another in my kind of aim of can i get a video for that in time before the expo and the answer life getting in the way no you can't i've not even had a chance to play it again yet but i am very keen uh, to dive back in again with i only ever played gloom as well so very keen to try out shadows and even more keen to try out uh, call of killforth it's got a cool way of mitigating the kind of uh, dice rolling in the encounters as well you have a token that you can flip and spend some of the available dice you get to roll it's a great big uh, adventuring game i realize i'm kind of talking in a if you untangle this sentence you'll get a clear uh, view of what the killforth game alike but from any of this if any of the little bits pique your interest there's plenty of information on board game and stuff about all these individual games incredible dream in hall one booth 852 are going to have kinfire chronicles knights fall i think to demo i think it's still kind of in production uh, it's a co-op campaign game one of the designers is kevin wilson of among other things. Arkham Horror fame. I'm a sucker for anything vaguely dungeon crawly and campaign based, even though I realise I have far too many campaign things going on at the moment. Hey, time will just appear out of nowhere eventually, won't it? If you keep filling your time with stuff, that's how more gets produced. Inside Up Games are in Hall 2, booth 532, and they're going to have The Juggernaut Earth, which uh, I still haven't played yet. I'll probably pick up a copy at the expo if it hasn't gone out of stock by the time that uh, I get to it. But yeah, this is an engine builder, tableau builder, something like terraforming Mars, but we are you know, taking care of Earth, a kind of very environmentally conscious kind of theme to it as well. It's been raved about plenty uh, and uh, yeah, inside of are presumably going to have some copies there. Invincible Games are going to be in Hall 1, booth 355, showing off a kind of pre-production edition of Scrumpy Card Cider, which I covered with a, a rougher prototype when it was on Kickstarter. So you can still find that on the channel. It was fantastic back then, a kind of uh, deck building and worker placement game where you are trying to you know, satisfy customers, make the best cider, satisfy the most customers and stuff. And uh, yeah, it worked beautifully then. Really looking forward to seeing how it's going now. Mighty Boards are in Hall 1, booth 464, and they're going to have a couple of things. They're going to have a demo of Fate Forge Chronicle of Khan, which I had a, a small prototype of back when it's on Kickstarter. I think I did an overview video for that. Uh, and it's a co-op story-based adventure game using the combat system of the game Vengeance, which uh, worked beautifully in that. Uh, just from the, I think it had kind of one quest line in the the prototype version of it. It worked great there. And they're also going to have a, a demo of uh, Hamlet by the Lake, which is an expan a new expansion to Hamlet, which I loved the, the base game of. Uh, looking forward to seeing what an expansion adds to it. Nailer Games are in Hall 1, booth 683. I'm trying to make sure I get all the numbers right. Right. And they are going to have uh, a few new things available to demo. I think the thing that is definitely going to be there to demo is the new great big Snowdonia World Tour, Snowdonia Grand Tour expansion that is going to be demoed by designer Tony Boydell. I've been very vocal in the past across multiple playthroughs of my love for Snowdonia. It is a beautiful worker placement, rail building kind of game. Not just rail building though, there's so many scenarios and things for it. You could, I, I think, practically every scenario scenario is covered although probably not every scenario because we're about to see a new huge expansion for us but they're also working on there's a kind of math based blackjack kind of game there's a turbo filler card game about making card games and there's something about a, a game that's been called like real-time gloomhaven all sounds pretty cool to me i'd uh, really like to check those out paverson games paverson 
Never said that out loud, I don't think. Uh, in Hall 1, uh, Booth 630 are going to have Distilled, which we played through a few weeks ago on the channel, uh, a card game about trying to make the best spirits, basically. Try and satisfy your customers, make money, beat your opponents. It's got a really cool uh, solo mode where you're trying to work your way up a ladder of various goals, depending on which ones you choose, increasing your target score for the end. But they're all also going to have a demo, and they're going to be showing off their next game, a prototype of Luthia, which transports players back to the height of classical music in Western Europe, where the art of the instrument was upheld equally by skilled craftspeople, noble patrons, virtuoso performers, and famous composers like Bach and Mozart. I didn't know I really wanted an instrument making game but I absolutely do sounds like a wonderful theme Pickwick Dreams in Hall 2 booth 954 are going to have Ineros Fallen the Land of Shadows which is well it can be a dueling game uh, between players uh, a kind of strategic map based dueling game where you're getting units out and eventually uh, trying to capture points and fight each other but as you can see in my playthrough video for it uh, there is also a kind of story-based mode where you can play it solo and uh, added one of those scenarios in there as well. Pegasus Spiel are going to be in Hall 2 booth 105 and they're going to have amongst other things Dwarf Romantic, uh, the, the board game. Basically I played a lot of Dwarf Romantic when it first came out, the video game edition of it. I'm really keen to see how it translates to cardboard. It is kind of widely available. Some of these things that are at the expo as well, I think they're out generally if you can't make it to the expo. Rock Manor Games are in Hall 1 booth 852. They have Maximum Apocalypse which has been recommended to me put on my radar as a game I might like it is a kind of survival uh, post-apocalyptic kind of game and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing more about it. Shadowborn games are going to be in Hall 2 booth 112 showing off Oathsworn uh, an enormous uh, kind of boss battling fantasy narrative kind of game. The game's kind of split into a bit of group choose your own adventure and which inevitably leads to a great big battle uh, i really enjoyed the chunk of the game i think i've done four chapters of it i really enjoyed the chunk of the game i played last year and uh, yeah one day it's one of those campaign games one day like all of them like madara like everything i will uh, i will get to the end of all of these things but yeah they will have uh, demo copies there for you to see it in action have a little play yourself in Hall 1 booth 574, Sinister Fish Games are going to have Moon, uh, the latest uh, in the, the trilogy that uh, began with Villagers and then Streets. Now Moon, you can see my playthrough of that in action, which, you know, to be fair, that was a sponsored, a commissioned video. Uh, just, just to be clear, uh, it's an engine building game where you're trying to make the most attractive lunar bases to kind of determine the future of humanity kind of they're also going to be demoing their upcoming game wizards and co which is a, a card game based on trying to trying to get the most loot out of dungeons really we are these wizards with the same set of creatures so you've got the same set of cards that do the same thing and you are laying them down sometimes face up sometimes face down uh, the cards will it's a, it's a kind of more cutthroat take thatty game uh, than I would play but I read through the rules when uh, but reading through the rules it seems like it would work really well and yeah I, I know that for me and Rach especially we are Care Bear plus plus we're not into the cutthroat at all so it wouldn't work for us but uh, yeah I feel like it's going to work for a lot of people and it's from the designers of um, things like Quimper and All Matter and stuff. Sky Tear and Tabula Games are in Hall 1 booth 620 and they're going to be showing off Sky Tear Horde which is a solo and cooperative you know, tower defense kind of game. Uh, they're the aim when I've, I've played this one actually uh, the, the aim of it is to make a kind of Hearthstone-ish kind of game but all lovely and cooperative so creatures will be spawned into various rows you want to play cards from your hand into those rows to battle those creatures so you they don't attack your castle because you'll lose if that's all gone and you want to try and wear them down whilst also simultaneously getting rid of the the baddies uh, the portal that they are coming through 
and there's so just in the little base box that i've got an expansion is on crowdfunding or is just finished on crowdfunding right now you could probably have a look at that uh, but yeah just from the base game that we've been playing there's tons of combinations of various enemy types of different difficulties of portal and stuff that you can play against yeah really really enjoyed it another one that's sadly time has not allowed a playthrough to exist yet but it shall unfringed limited are in hall one booth 327 and they're going to have the second edition of zuli a zoo building card game it seems pretty cute i like the theme the second edition includes like a little mini expansion as well and they're also going to have a special unicorn promo and they're going to be selling plushies which uh, yeah i'm definitely interested in any mention of that and finally van rider games in hall 2 booth 806 are going to have final girl which i think like it almost came out at the last uk games expo i think it just about arrived in the uk but there weren't many i can't remember who had it there was one booth that basically had a tiny amount of core games and then quite a few of all of the movie packs so if you'd wanted to you could have got a movie pack but you couldn't have actually played the game Hopefully, well, Van Ryder are here themselves this time. So surely they're going to have some with them because the second uh, wave, the second season of Final Girl has just been released in UK shops, I think. I've got first season stuff, but yeah, it is based on the gameplay of Hostage Negotiator, a card and dice based game. You have a card full of hands where they're going to depict what uh, your character is going to do and you'll roll a die to see how well you do that. Uh, there's various ways of mitigating the, the dice in it based on uh, the cards that you keep in your hand and loads and loads of variability with all the final girls that you can play, the locations you can play in and the villains that you can play against. Uh, a lot of them uh, you can see on borging the various packs that may or may not be inspired by a load of things like there's a nightmare on elm street one in the the base game i think the the wave two has got things like has it got like a, a the thing and an alien looking uh expansion as well yeah it's uh there's, there's a lot of stuff just in season one though and really just to try it out you only need the core game and one of those movies you don't have to jump right in, although I would really like to jump into season two as well. Uh, so there we go. That is, I am sure, just a, a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of the stuff that is available right now. I hope very, very much that I'm going to be seeing as much of that as possible, really. I want to see it all, but there's never enough time at these things, is there? Uh, but yeah, hopefully I've got it written down here in front of me. Now, so if I miss out on anything, then uh, I can uh, hunt it down later. I hope that might have piqued your interest about a couple of games, at least that maybe you haven't heard of yet. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can check them out more on Board Game Geek or just at the show at the places that uh, I told you about. Uh, but what have I missed? What are you looking forward to the most at the UK Games Expo? Because as I said at the start, I'm sure I've missed plenty that i would really like as well there's there's a lot there's a lot of text to go through this uh this easy to miss stuff uh, and yeah where are you going to be is it the bring and buy i can basically see with the queues and the amount of stuff in there you could very easily spend the weekend in there i would really like to check it out this time though i think we looked kind of at the very end of maybe sunday it's where i got eldritch horror from last year it's where that has all started uh, but um rachel and i will be there at the expo on friday and sunday if you're about if you spot us probably run in to some kind of appointment or another uh yeah say hi we, we may have badges i think we have badges if you would like one if you wouldn't like one don't have to have one do you uh, but there we go uh, hopefully we'll see you there uh, but if not i will hopefully be coming back with uh, some games that will be making appearances on the channel in the very near future thank you so much for watching this if you'd like to see more from me you can subscribe and hit the bell and stuff and find out when new videos occur you can support the channel on patreon or ko-fi there are links to those in the description but most of all thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you for some games in the very near future bye everyone